Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You're watching for today. Yesterday, we uploaded the video for the new Android 14 based custom ROM for OnePlus Nord 2. But today, we brought you all the ARM64 AB devices, the new Evolution X 8.0.3 Aka Pastilas Android 14 based GSR ROM, which can work for all Android devices mentioned with the set CPU architecture. You don't have to follow any tedious fast boot flashing process or anything else. We already created DSU side loader videos by using that tool. You can test this ROM on any device with root or without root access. So today I will try this on my MediaTek processor Android Nord 2 device. We will test its all functions to confirm is this JSI really daily usable or not. We will check out all the Android 14 and Evolution X features available in the ROM. We will also do small performance tests and at the end, we will check all the bugs present in the GSI. Remember, bugs may be different for the different devices. In same way, on some devices it may boot or may not boot. But don't worry, DSU method is the safest way of booting GSI. So if you are really willing to taste the new Android 14, then with a further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. Let's start with the installation of the GSI. I am using the Pixel OS custom ROM. You can use this method on the top of any stock or custom ROM. You need to download the GSI package from the link given under the video description. It must be ARM 64 bit AB architecture scheme ROM. You can use this treble check application where you will get your device CPU architecture information and the dynamic partition support. Is it available for your device or not? Your device bootloader must be unlocked. Here I am using the magix root method. You can follow non root method too. Its video tutorial link is also available under the video description. Now open the device side loader application. Load the exit file. Then set your desired user data partition size. You can use up to 43 GB user data partition size only. Next step install. Once done, if you are using the lock screen password or PIN on your device, it will ask for the authorization prompt. Tap on the try again and unlock using the PIN or password. Flashing will start again and once it's got successful, in the notification panel, we get the option discard or restart. Tap restart. So here our Nord 2 started to boot into the new Evolution X ROM boot and mission. If your device got stuck here, don't worry, just force reboot the device, your device will boot back to stock OS. So I did the complete setup, now let's go to the setting. Here it's showing it's a PHS table setting because this is a PHS table based GSI build. For device details, it's showing it's Android 14 based ROM with the new star egg of space war hidden type of game. This Evolution X version is 8.0.3 Pastilla build. UOX has this nice easter egg developed by their developer Steam. Security patch is of November 2023. Kernel will be same like as your primary stock ROM that you are using. Like it's same for me for the Pixel OS as my primary ROM. Its version is 4.14.302. This GSI build is built on the 1st December 2023, so everything is up to date. Next, I did the complete testing of all the functions for Nord 2. If you install this on other devices, please follow same steps here I did. Like I checked all the Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspot, it's working, Bluetooth surprisingly it's working. While my primary Pixel OS has the issue of audio in the Bluetooth devices, but here it's working fine. Other things like NFC, GPS locations are working good. All the VOLT 4G and VOANR 5G calls with the call recording are working. We also get the BGR call recording application in the app drawer. I did all the sensor tests using the applications like device info and the sensor apps. Except the fingerprint, all the functions are working properly. If you are using the different devices, please follow all the steps as I mentioned here to confirm all the functions are properly working for you or not. Next to check out all the Android 14 features, please refer our old video for Nord 2. Its link is given under the video description. Where I had added the timeline for Android 14 features in the details. 
you can check them out in that video some features are not working in this gs ad that we will discuss under the bug section of this video rom comes with all the evolution x features added and working properly who gets all the features under the evolver tab here you get a bunch of the tabs like the themes status bar customizations notifications qs panel customizations power menu customization gesture settings lock screen customizations buttons and many more under the miscellaneous setting there are some interesting features available like smart pixels which helps to shut off the display pixels which helps to save more battery who can set the burn on protection here too we can also able to set the percentage of pixels to keep off as per our need unlock rfs in the game toggle is available but i did not test it it to confirm is it working or not so this rom is highly customizable one under the app section one interesting feature called as the app cloning is available using that you can create the clones application for all the applications available in the rom so we can use two different applications with the different accounts in the same device cloned application will be available under the work profile section of the app drawer all the picture gestures are available under the system setting here i mostly like it is the double tap on the back which is working very good and it has lots of shortcuts to access various functions of the device like recents notification panel etc as this is a ph stable rom we get the ph stable settings too here you get the dose miscellaneous ims and other customization features we can force enable the screen fps to 90 120 using the miscellaneous fps setting mediatek gd kpi support toggle helps to improve the gaming of mediatek devices customization features as the ui ascent color icon shapes icon pack like setting We also get the OT updater here. It's the same like stock OT updater available under the system setting. ROM comes with the Lineage OS Aperture Camera application, but you can use the GCam by Shamim, and it's fully working in this build too. You can watch its full detail that I shown in the old video of Not Two. App link is given under the video description. ROM is battery smooth. More the user data size, more fluid will be the ROM. So always use the more user data partition size. I set it to the 5 GB but always use it about 10 GB. After doing the Geekbench test, I got the scores of 1090 and 3110 for the single and multi core, which are lower than the old Pixel OS custom ROM we reviewed, but the GPU Vulkan and the OpenGL performance were same like Pixel OS custom ROM. So obviously this GS is not a buttery smooth as Pixel OS but still you did not feel any kind of big difference between these both roms now let's check out the most important part of this video that are the bugs remember different devices will face the different bugs for not to i got the oneplus hello slider is not working at all which is working in the pixel os custom rom for android 14 features ai generated wallpapers has all the settings and it generating the wallpaper as per our need but when you try to set the wallpaper it's just showing the black screen similarly for the ai generated emojis all the settings are available but after applying ai emojis wallpaper only green colored ai emojis wallpaper will get applied but it has nice unlocking and the scrolling animation rom did not comes with the wallpaper or the photo application in build so after installation please install any wallpaper application from the play store then only you can able to apply the wallpapers using the wallpaper and style application setting rom safety net getting failed so we can't able to use the banking or the security application in this gsi build similarly device play protect is showing uncertified but you can solve these issues using the root mod video available under the video description device fingerprint and face unlock both are not working in this gsi for the not to but you can use the pattern or the pin password to secure your phone if you want to switch back to the stock primary rom just tap restart option available in the notification panel your device will boot back to stock rom here my device booted back to the stock pixel os later again to go back to the gs rom follow the same step so dsi side loader is a innovative way to use any gsi without harming your device 
there is a complete playlist of day suicide loader videos are available at our channel you can check it from the video description so that's it for today guys if this video helped you then please do like and share this video please mention in the comment section on which device this gs have booted for your device and it's working properly or not press the bell icon for the notification of such amazing content of our channel thanks for watching take care bye bye